Hey guys, just a little update. The party's still in full swing. Some of them are a bit drunk, but luckily I'm sober and keeping it together. <laughs> Guys, that wind's dropped down now and we're gonna leave because something's exciting is about to happen and I'll tell you when we get going. Woo -hoo, come on! So the wind's been really strong this morning and this is the first opportunity I've had to set off but I do have to navigate myself through quite a few lift bridges today and being single-handed it can be a right fast. So this trip today is all about catching up with a guy called Alan who's a sign writer. Yeah, and it's about a five hour cruise but I'm not doing it all today because I couldn't set off for ages because of the wind. So we've been slow setting off today. But now that wind's dropped a bit, we'll crack on. I'm not sure how many swing bridges there are but there are apparently quite a few. I'm just at the bridge now, I'm just seeing because sometimes they're a key, sometimes they're a windless, sometimes they're both. Let's have a look. Yeah, so it's a windless. So I'm just going to bring my boat across, push it across on here. Because obviously the swing bridge controls are on that side and if I open it, I'm stuck on there. My boat's over here! Yeah! So I'm going to put it over there a little bit, just put the front. So I bow hauled the boat by pulling the rope and putting my front over to one side of the canal and my stern was the other. So it was actually jackknifed. So if a boat actually come now, they won't be able to go anywhere because I'm blocking the passage. Yeah, and there's nothing worse than a blocked passage, is there? And lo and behold, a boat's just come and I'm gonna pull it through now. Oh, this lovely guy off the hire boat has uh, clambered across my boat to get there and let me get on the boat, so that's fantastic. It's a bit easier, but the secret to these bridges, guys, is to just wait for another boat and follow them through. That's the secret. Oh, thanks so much, love. There is another one literally just round this corner. All oh, right, okay. <laughs> Oh guys, this is when you really do need some crew, but with this one I made my bow touch the bank on the left and then I just scooted down the gunnels. But wow, this bridge took so many turns to get her lifted up. And after what felt like 3,765 turns of the windlass, I just pulled my boat back near to the bank, scooted down the gunnels yeah, and then I just decided to drive her through. It was easier than bow hauling a massive heavy boat through. And once I got her through, I just tied the stern on so she couldn't go anywhere and winded back down the bridge. So that's two swing bridges done. Whew, I'm knackered already. Anyway, onwards. The aim for the next few days is to meet up with Alan, the sign writer, and he's going to be sign writing the wrong wench down both sides of my boat. So the main reason I wanted it properly sign written, as you can see here, that the vinyl is really faded. It faded so quickly. But the first job we're going to have to do is get this vinyl off and get the panel painted. So 
I'm so excited that I'm getting my boat properly sign righted by a professional. Yeah, I can't wait. She deserves it. She's a good boat this. She's an old boat. She's 2003. But she's a good boat. Every penny I ever had when I sold my house and sold everything went into this boat. And uh, she looks after me, so I want to look after her as well. Yeah, so I'm made up. So obviously because it's winter and the weather's not the best, we've had lots of rain and wind. So what he's going to be doing is he's going to just do bits in between the dry weather just going to put little bits on so something that would normally take a day two days to do he said oh i'll just do little bits when we can because of the weather so i'm going to be following him round and we'll get bits done as and when we can so yes yeah, so i'm quite excited by it just want to give a quick shout out to andy buckingham and graham westgate for becoming patrons of the channel thank you so much guys There's a swing bridge just up here, but I'm just going to moor up first because I think I've got something around my propeller. So I've moored up just before this swing bridge. Yeah, it's getting late now anyway, but uh, the piling back there, God, you can see where people have whacked in. It's come apart, it's sticking out, and that'll scrape all your boat, that will. So the reason why I've moored up is I need to go in my weed hatch, and so I would have had to pull up anyway and uh, more just before the bridge landing, the bit where you have more for the bridge, so people still get past if they want to go. So let's get in that weed hatch, check that out and see if there's anything around it. Yeah, I could feel it on my tiller, but there is a flow and we have got all the leaves off the trees. So you just, you just never know if you've got something around it or not. So we'll go and check it out now. I hate going down my weed hatch. It's not a joyous occasion at all. <laughs> it's a right faff. You've got to get off the weed hatch thing itself and give it a good clanking with the hammer. Then you roll the old sleeves up, get down on your belly and get stuck in, basically. And it's normally wet, slimy and cold. I have a good feel around, feel the propeller blades, feel your shaft, and I've got quite a large shaft, I have to say. And then just pull off what you can. Ooh, how rude. Yeah, but it's not a joyous job, guys. It's horrible. And the thing is, you're putting your hand straight into the canal water, and in there you've got pee, duck poo, cow poo, fish jism, and everything, and it's all on your hand. It's just horrible. Lots of you be shouting at the screen now, going, why aren't you wearing gloves? And the main reason being is it's like a condom. You haven't got the same sensation. And the biggest thing that I pull up around my propeller is fishing wire and I cannot feel it with gloves on so I have to yeah I have to be able to touch it and whilst I've got the hatch up I always like to pay a little bit of attention to my drainage holes yeah they always need a good poking because they get clogged up with a bit of mud and leaves and things so yeah so I always give them a sort out whilst you're there so I've just been in my weed hatch and there's a boat coming through that swing bridge now but I'm settled now, I've moored up, I'm caked in crap so I want to go in and have a shower but yeah I had something around my propeller after all, that blue rope I always pick up blue rope but I've never seen a boat with blue rope on yes I don't know where it comes from and I'm caked in dirt now, I'm filthy, I've just given me hole a good poking yeah you've got to sort out your drainage holes every now and again as well so I've done that, so I could nip through this swing bridge now, there's people there, but yeah, I just want to get in the shower, filthy, I've had enough, yeah, and the sun's going down now, so yeah, that'll do for today. Good morning guys, I'm just taking all my bungs out, it's very early, I've just got out of the shower. Good morning world! Yeah, I always say that. When I take my bungs out, I always say good morning, world, because it's just, we're, li we're living another day, aren't we? We're alive. Anyway, I'm really excited today because I'm heading off to Braunston. I've got a lift. Yeah, and we're going to a vlogger's party. Yeah, I get to see everyone, so I'm really excited about that. I'm going to take me with me. Something with me? I'm going to take you with me. See, it's still early and I'm not out of rum. Come on. <laughs> So guys, we've made it to the pub. What's the pub called? Boathouse. Boathouse. This is Caroline. She's on one day more. This is Julie. She's on 
Rhapsody in Blue, Julian Martin. We've got Louise there on now about changing pace. Oh, you know, you <laughs> I just want to say, look at look at this. <laughs> Temptation. Oh, I can't stop touching it. Yeah. We've got our Christmas badges on. Oh god, it's shoot. Got that one on look. Yeah. Terrible. Yeah, so. Ah, oh, this is Steve from Narrow Precious Jet. So there's loads of it. I'm not going to know is when you've been up. I'm not going to read that one, are we? Yeah, so we're all here, we're all gathering, and we've got our drinks early on before Paul and Auntie arrive because we know they'll drink the bar dry. So we thought we'd get it now. Yeah, so everyone's arriving, it's a lovely atmosphere. It's so lovely to be with all these people that are so supportive of each other. It's I've got to make a complaint. Yeah. I've not seen Rosie and Jim do the reverse cowgirl yet. Oh yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll do that one at the end of this week's video. I'm in the naughty corner. We're all here. We've got Paul and Anthony and Phil. They've been in the hotel room, apparently. Mojito. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're all naughty. But wait there, there's somebody I want you to meet. Anyway, guys, I want you to meet someone. This is one of my, I'm his number one fan, honestly. He's absolutely amazing. Here he is, look, it's his boyfriend, it's Hello. David. Yeah. Cruising the court. Oh. Happy Christmas. Yeah, I've got a little, I'm so excited to see him. I can't walk straight. <laughs> A few drinks now. We've had our food. This is Phil. Hi, everyone. Your new boyfriend, aren't you, Phil? I am. Hi, then. Bless you. <laughs> Not bad. Oh, we can dream, though, can't we? <laughs> <laughs> he's having a he's having a new boat built. What's your channel called? Um, locking through life. Locking, locking. Don't be rude. Locking through life. <laughs> so follow him. He's having a brand new boat built. Yeah, fantastic. Brand new boat. Yeah. Bye, Oakums. Bye, Oakums. Hashtag Oakums. The party is still in full swing. Some of them are a bit drunk, but luckily I'm sober and keeping it together. <laughs> and we're having some Merry Christmas, everybody. Happy Christmas. Merry Christmas. Or happy holidays. Actually. Yeah, oh yeah, happy holidays. So guys, I'm back home now. I had such an amazing time at the vloggers Christmas party. What was the most lovely thing about it for me was all these people are so supportive of each other. It's just so beautiful. A lovely little network of really good friends. I absolutely loved it. And thank you so much to Lisa for organizing it. She brought us all together. She's got a heart of gold, that woman. Anyway, I've got my tree up. Yeah, um, my batteries are a bit dead. I left them in last year, so I need to get myself some new batteries next time I go shopping. Yeah, I seem to go through batteries quite quickly. Just poured myself a Jack Daniels Tennessee. It's like fiery, dead spicy, cinnamony. Yeah, I know it's not rum, but it's like a nice spicy Christmassy drink and I love it. Yeah, so cheers. Mmm.
<laughs> I'm gonna leave the video there for this week. If you have enjoyed it, please give it a like, subscribe if you haven't already. But before I go, a big shout out to this week's pirate crew. Cheers, everyone. And here they are, me hearties. Mike and Estelle, John and Linda, Dave Garside, Jerry and Marlene, Chuck Bledsoe, Alec Forsyth, Captain Morgan, Fishless Clive, thanks so much again Clive, Angela, Bubby and Guppy, Murray, Norm and Laura van der Handel, Deb and Colin from Narrowboat Round To It, Jono and Vicky from the GRP Lady Red Nip. Ooh, I've got some red nips this weather. Dennis Santiago, Alan Harbett, Diamond Geezer, Sandy and Ernie, Susie Harris, Mark Grunenberg, Jim McIntosh, and Nigel from Thoughts on Narrowboating. Thank you so much, guys. And also a massive shout out to my patrons. These guys are just such a support to me and I really appreciate all the help and advice I get from them. So thank you so much, patrons. Anyway, guys, that's it. Please stay safe, take care, and I'll see you next week. Oh, I hope you're nice and warm there. I hope you sat there with a nice roaring fire with a nice, strong, alcoholic beverage. Yeah, I'm freezing my knackers off.